So why is that? Okay. So it's pretty simple. When you um, multiply by two five, or when here above above the uh, above the, the the line, you have two five two, and below square root of two five two, right? So what you could also do is instead of doing this, you could actually put the brackets here, and you multiply the whole thing by the square root of two five two because. 252 divided by two, uh, square root is the square root of 252. You see, same mm -hmm. same number, yeah? And now, if you, if you think about squares, the square root of 256 is 16, yeah? Mm -hmm. So instead of using 252, mm -hmm. we just make it a little bit, because it's not really always that, that accurate anyway. We go 16 and we get almost exactly the same value. So this is a trick to anal annualize daily bars really simply, just multiply it by 16, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So so this is the sharp ratio of our strategy. Now let's see what the sharp ratio is of our um, benchmark, because what we can then do is we can go, well, okay, you know, what? Um, what's the, uh, uh, you know, what's better, our benchmark or our strategy? And qu quite frankly, I don't know myself. So you remember when we um, um, when we uh, calculated the uh, the returns of our benchmark, we just go spy.close.percentage change, okay? And then all we have to do is, because this is actually um, Python pandas, yeah? We go dot .mean. Because you remember we had this SPY in what's called a panda data frame. So in these data frames, we can just apply these functions here. And um, that makes our calculation. We could actually use NumPy, but when we use pandas, we just go dot STD, right? And we multiply the whole thing by 16. Yeah? So we got the percentage changes of the SPY mean, uh, standard deviation 16. Interesting, look at that. So it's almost exactly the same. <laughs> now, what does that tell us? That, that it's actually a, a good strategy because we can sleep better and have less headache. <laughs> actually, not really, because oh, okay. when, see the, the uh, sharp ratio of our uh, underlying uh, benchmark is almost so the risk adjusted return is almost exactly the same as the strategy yeah mm -hmm. so if that's the case right why bother actively trading a strategy so so yes we we do have this this big drawdown but it's still the risk big uh we even though we have a bigger drawdown, the higher return of the strategy kind of offsets that. Mm -hmm. So ultimately we end up with almost exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. Now, um, what we could do now is we could maybe do some um, overfitting and see if we can maybe get a better sharp ratio for our underlying strategy. Uh, shall we maybe try to do this? Just give it one shot. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. I meant so a see, quick see, question got... before that. Um, yeah. Is it the better, like the lower the the ratio is, the better or the higher the better? Like, so if we have like now uh, 0 0.6, is it 0 a higher 0.4? Sharp, or... A higher sharp ratio is better. Okay, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. a higher sharp ratio is better. So let's just go, I don't know. I just I just do some really extreme thing here. <laughs> so I have two averages, uh, six and four. How about that? <laughs> oh yeah, so you see it's terrible. Um, so, um, well, I'm not really exactly sure what is a good. Uh, what is a good one? And as I said, or as you also mentioned, we can easily overfit. So what I suggest is uh, we stick with what we have right now. We're not going to overfit. See, this is not good. Mm -hmm. So let's just go back to what we had. 
<clears throat> and what we want to do is, first of all, we want to keep analyzing the strategy a little bit because um, there's a few other things that we need to know. And the fact that it's just as good as the underlying um, is, you know, what it, it is what it is. But what's really important is how do we analyze our strategy? How do we, you know, what what can we, all the things we can do to figure out whether the strategy is any good or not. I mean, here we're basically taking a very simple strategy. We're just giving it a really straightforward shot, right? So we can't expect that to be uh, uh, fantastic. But actually, being as good as the benchmark isn't such a bad thing to start with. So I wouldn't totally discard it because it was our first shot and we didn't know. So it's actually an interesting starting point and we can definitely improve on that and we will uh, sooner uh, or later. <laughs>